All right, guys, so I'm sorry about the lighting situation, but it's late. I'm trying to get in one flight in and just, okay, eh. Might be a little jerky, but at least you can see me a little bit better. Anyway, I've got three batteries, one quad, well, two working quads, but however, one of them, like the quad I built at uh, Quad Cam, did something to it. I put a KISS FC on it, so this video is gonna be about my first experience flying KISS, however, it's also going to be an experiment because I didn't swap out the ESC, so I'm still running the BL Heli S D Shot 600 ESC. So today I want to figure out can a KISS flight controller run if you just have um, BL Heli S ESCs? I'm going to keep talking as I get set up here. Um, the reason, I guess, the thing that prompted this test was I just really like the way steel flies and whatnot, and the Butterfly flight controller. I just couldn't get rid of any like mid throttle oscillations and also I was just sick and I'm, I'm just so sick and tired of like messing with things you know like I just want something like just to, just to set it and forget it that's kind of what I'm looking for and I'm hoping that's what I get with KISS I've put my rates into this aircraft however I've put uh, Mr. Steele's KISS V1 PIDs on this flight controller from his uh, website so anyway I'm gonna put in a battery we're gonna go up and yeah hopefully this doesn't fall out of the sky and explode in a ball of fire this v1 hover test I'm gonna hover test this for 30 seconds with the heaviest battery that I have on me right now just to test this thing safety If that was 30 seconds but it's close now i'm gonna throw my goggles on and fly this thing as hard as i possibly can the fly hard test with the 1500 milliamp hour pack same one i'm in a hurry right now because i'm running out of daylight let's do this Yes, 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 that was amazing. We're gonna need to go fly somewhere else. All right, so now we're on top of a parking garage, as you can see, and I apologize for the quality of this movie. I would have loved to do this during daylight hours. However, I just didn't have the time today. And I was also really impatient to fly, so there's that. Um, so I'm just gonna sit down and talk to you in a parking lot briefly. So flight number one, was really 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 good um i definitely could feel what seal was talking about in his uh, kiss v2 video that he did um he said like one of the reasons why he likes kiss is because it felt loose and tight at the same time and i can definitely feel that even with pits that i haven't tuned and also on that note the tune the baseline tune on just the kiss v1 with steel's pits not even running the same gear as him but the prop watch handling was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Even for a flight controller that's been out for like, what, two, two and a half years or so, it absolutely beat the crap out of the Helio Spring. Okay, so that's really awesome. It felt really good in the air and it didn't set itself on fire, which is also really great. So I've got two more battery packs. One is a, well, they're both 1300 milliamp hour packs. So I'm just gonna fly around this parking garage and just see how it flies. Also for this flight, I'm going to provide some commentary while I fly. 
probably won't be flying too hard because this is concrete and I don't want to explode. But I'm going to try to fly at my best while it's still being cautious. So anyway, let's do that and I hope the wind doesn't blow up the audio on the camera. This camera that is. So, GoPro started. Got that. Dollars are down. They're good. 16.7 volts inch is a little off on the, but let's go for it. Okay. inside my room so we can talk about the whole experience. of running the, um, the KISS FC. Let's start with pros. So, it feels really good in the air. I can tell you that right now. Between um, Butterfly and KISS, as far as what I prefer in the air, 
I like the way this kiss feels. Beta Flight was good. Butterfly was better. Kiss is the best I've felt in the air so far. The prop wash handling on the Kiss V1 running RC34C, which is like the latest firmware out there for it, is amazing. Uh, the 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 GUI like they that you use to set up the Kiss flight controller is very simple, a lot simpler than Beta Flight or Butterflight to set up. The KISS V1, if you want to try it out, is only 25 bucks on Rotor Riot. It's 28 bucks on Flight Test Store. I think it's like in the 30s or $40 on Amazon. It natively supports um, smart port telemetry, smart audio, tramp telemetry, and Lewis scripts. And if you're running the KISS V1, there's no need to be you know, constantly updating your gear, always looking out for like, oh, when's the next update gonna come out? In one of SEAL's videos, he talks about how they pretty much maxed out this thing's capabilities, so you don't have to worry about keeping up with the latest and greatest firmware. You just go to the KISS website, download the, the latest firmware for the V1, and you're done. I'm sure there are more um, pros to running Kiss, um, I just haven't been able to, you know, know all of them yet, just because, again, this is my first experience with it. But now let's go to some of the cons that I see with running Kiss. Um, there's no built-in OSD, so like, like most Betaflight uh, capable flight controllers, they have the Betaflight OSD, which is like by far the best um, flight controller OSD out there that comes that comes natively on a flight controller. Um, now you can get an OSD, but it requires extra costs. And so the OSDs that will work with this are is the Impulse OSD, uh, the Mr. Steel PDB, and the Maytech PDB. That last one, the Maytech one, the only person I've seen do it is. Um, uh, Vic FPV in some of his older videos, uh, he has like a, some like Maytech OSD PDB mentioned in his uh, product description or in his video descriptions alongside the Kiss FC. So that's why that one's in there. Um, you could run like a minimum a minimum OSD, but um, that one's uh, kind of a pain in the butt to set up. The KISS FC, both V1 and V2, don't have a built-in power distribution board, or PDB. So, if you want to run them, you are going to have to run an external PDB, which is going to add a little bit of weight to your aircraft if weight savings is kind of one of your priorities. Now, recently at Flight Controller, the, the, the iFlight Flight Controller that, that runs KISS on it, um, that has a built-in power distribution board. However, there's not a lot of information out there about it as far as what I've been able to see. Um, there are some people posting some flights with it, but there's nothing out there about how to set it up. So, yeah, take that with um, a grain of salt. And kind of the last one is, is there's not a lot of built-in features like black box, CLI commands, barometer, uh, the ability to easily hook up a GPS natively, etc., etc. So, um, I'm sure there are more cons. Again, those are just all the ones that I could think of after this um, experience. So, I notice I've got a little timer down on my screen. I've been talking for about five minutes. I'm going to try to wrap this video up really quick. So, if you are the type of person who likes to try out new things and maybe you prefer flight experience over features, then I would say give the KISS V1 a try. Just because, again, like I said, you can find it pretty cheap depending on where you look. And um, it'll work with BL Heli S ESCs and it should also work with BL Heli 32. 
ESCs. I can't speak for the BL Heli 32 bar because that's not something that I've tested personally, but I've seen, um, again, uh, Vic FPV. He's run uh, KISS flight controllers with BL Heli 32 um, ESCs. But if you're the type of person who maybe prefers features over flight experience, then I would stick with uh, Beta Flight. So those are my thoughts. I hope this was informative and or entertaining. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!